everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before I start my official mukbang, instead of my usual setting setup, um, I wanted to show you guys how I'm preparing my meal today. It needs a little bit more time, so I, I wanted to just kind of film beforehand uh, so you guys can see, um, actually see it instead of me trying to explain it because you guys know I suck at explaining anything. So here we are. In my kitchen today i am making some la carby jim la short rib stew so yeah i bought the frozen ones for 30 dollars and this is about 2.6 pounds so okay i'm going to actually soak them in cold water because to get a little bit of the blood out and you know they do cut the bone they slice the bone, so you might see a little bit of like residue. Okay, setting some cold water. Okay, do you guys see it? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like lots and lots of gunky stuff coming out. Just so basically, we're washing it and soaking it for a little bit for the extra blood to um, come out of the meat. And we should make some sauce. Okay, I'm gonna push this to the side. And let's make some sauce. Mm -hmm. Where should I make it? I need a big bowl. Okay, I'm gonna get a measuring cup. Okay, let's get some soy sauce going. I'm gonna add about up to maybe a cup of soy sauce. I think for sauces, it's always better to make more than you need just in case you know i'm going to add some water maybe another cup ish yeah, let's see yeah, it's another cup though. yeah so we got a cup of soy sauce and cup of water regular plain water i'm going to add a little bit of sake and then some sesame oil. I think that's good. I'm going to add maybe like a spoonful of minced garlic. That's better. Yeah. yeah, I might need a bigger. And then like a little bit of minced, uh, what is this, ginger. I'm going to add a little bit more of the minced garlic. Okay. Okay, maybe that much. And then I'm going to add this juice it's called karamandan pe so instead of adding the actual korean pear i'm just going to add the juice it adds good sweetness and like fruitiness let's just add a little bit of that first i think i add all of it maybe i should have added this instead of water you know mm. okay you know what this is actually not as sweet as i want it to be so i'm going to add a little bit of uh, sugar. Like. I don't think the sauce needs to be too concentrated because when I cook it you know they become a little bit more flavorful so this tastes pretty good 
Okay, so my meat has been sitting in the cold water for a couple hours. My soy sauce or my marinating sauce as well. It's definitely recommended for you to let the sauce, you know, also to uh, sit for like a couple hours, even overnight. So anyways, today I wanted to share this product with you guys. It's a Kosori pressure cooker. They were kind enough to send me a sample. This, I think this is six quart. Um, yeah, pressure cooker with many, many options. Uh, I will leave a link in the description box. I am going to add all the meat in here, like so. Mm. Yeah, I think this is okay. We're gonna add the sauce that we made. much to add. Hold on. Yeah. I think I'm going to just add until like okay I'll do that. And then we're going to add some onions, carrots and sweet potatoes. Let's add all of it. Then this is totally optional. I'm going to add some rice cakes. I'll top it over with some extra sauce. Gonna mix it around a little bit. Oh, I hope this is not too salty. Okay. Okay, I think that is really it. I'm going to close it. And then press the meat stew option and then let's begin. Since this is my first time cooking with this, I do want to open it and just check how things are going. But maybe next time when I'm more used to it, I can, um, I don't have to like check up halfway. So let's try. Let's just stop it for a little bit. There we go. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Okay, let's just see. Oh my god, this looks so good! Okay. Well, I just I have to still wait until my um, potato, sweet potatoes are good. But let's just check the meat. Whoa! Yeah, these look good. Um, I think they could definitely stay in here a little bit longer. Um, but so far the rice cakes look good. I just had to wait for my potatoes to cook. They're almost there. So, let me just taste the soup. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. Put the lid back on. Is, so this is off right now, right? So meat stew, you could control time basically. Like uh, cook time and then you could do like... Since I had it for a long time, I could change it to even like 10 more minutes okay i think that sounds good and then you could start right away or you could change the pressure to something like less like that and then you just click start okay, hey guys welcome back to my channel uh so today i made some la carby gym you guys watched the beginning this is has been sitting here for about like 20 to 30 minutes uh if you guys are interested in this awesome pressure cooker with many many options you could basically cook anything with this check out the description box there is a specific link that you need to use to get extra 15 percent off on amazon the promotion is for limited time only it ends on november 18th so so hurry up and go check out the amazon website and i think this makes a great gift for your moms or your friends even friends like people like me i would love like I would seriously would love something like this for as just a gift for Christmas gift, birthday gift or whatever. So yeah, this should be ready. <clears throat> and I'm going to open it. Oh my gosh. So as after about five minutes of this like cooking, um the entire apartment smelled like carby. I'm just going to plate it over here to make it look pretty. Okay. 
feels like chutok. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna turn this on for a little bit. I like it my when my food boils. <laughs> Okay, and then inside, kalbi goes very well with the Korean cold noodles, naengmyeon. So right here, I have some eggs and cucumber and noodles that are already made. And it comes with the soup packet. Open this. Yes. Let's pour it in here. Oh my gosh. I haven't had naengmyeon in such a long time. Naengmyeon, that's the cold noodles. Cold chewy noodles. Okay, I think I'll turn this off. Should be good. And get some rice ready. Yummy. Oh, and some kimchi on the side. Yum. I'll try the soup. Oh my. So it comes with the meon yang yam. I don't know if I'm supposed to use one or the other or use both of it. So let's just try both. It's like stuck together. Do that thing. And for today's drink, I have some Pokari Su. Pokari Sweat too. Pokari Sweat. Some in here. <sighs> Yum. Really delicious food today, huh? I mean, I guess I'll, I always do in my mukbangs, but. Okay, let's try the duck. Oh my god, this looks so good. The rice cake. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so I got the fresh rice cake. So good. And these are a lot thicker than the normal ones that you find in the frozen section. Mmm. Soup. Oh my god. Let's try the meat. Should I do like a close-up shot with my phone? So here is the naengmyeon, the chewy cold noodles. Voila! So good, right? It looks so delicious. Some rice cakes, carrot, onion, and my sweet potatoes right here. I think winter is um, the best season to eat. It's just... the. Mmm. 
I could totally like pan mara mogo this, like put rice in the soup, mix it together. There's a sweet potato. Mmm, this is good. You could even use, oh my god, this is actually really, really good. You could put regular potatoes. But I like, mmm. So good. Some onions. Okay, so here. <clears throat> we are going to cut these guys. <laughs> Sometimes I'm humming and I don't even know what I'm humming to. Okay, so we got some naengmyeon here, some karpi here. And then, oh, I'll put it right here. Ah, too. Oh my god, this menu is so good. Some cucumbers right here. So I've been making a lot of ramen eggs where the yolks are kind of soft. So delicious. Mm. Now it's so cold. This name is so good. <clears throat>
von Kimchi. My sister actually used to have a huge thing for Ningmyeon when we were growing up. I don't know if she is anymore, but she used to love it. Like for a whole, for like an entire week, all she eat for dinner was naengmyeon. Oh, crazy! I'm like really trying not to blow on this. Like, Are supposed to? I really like this bone part, so don't throw it out. Mmm. I do think about it. I think I did the LA Garby when I was at my parents' house. But I did like a girl version. This is very hard to eat.
If you don't want to use the meat, or if you don't eat meat, I think you could add mushrooms, the rest of the vegetables and rice cake. I think it'll be really good because the sauce itself is amazing. So I'm gonna do like a little bit of sauce. So good. Getting pretty full. The thing about intermittent fasting, it really shrinks your stomach. I, mean, I think I already ate a lot, but. So, okay, actually I want to talk about this because the other day I was walking on it and this is when the kids were off school. They're going, they're going to like their home and there were three boys, three kids. I don't know, like second, third grade-ish looking. They're definitely not high school for sure. And I got this kid... Uh, like playfully pushed another kid and the the kid that got pushed he had glasses and his glasses fell off and he couldn't find it and as soon as his glasses fell off he like pushed the first kid who pushed him so you're like what the f like why did why the hell did you do that to me like what the like he kept using the f word and i was so shocked because i don't know i know that things are changing and like different generations different things but when I was second grade, I didn't even know what the word was. I mean, like, okay, yeah, fine. Like, I uh, was a fob, or I am a fob. I just came from Korea. But even, like, in Korean, I didn't really... That concept of swearing or those words never came to me. So I was so shocked that he was saying it so well. You know, it sounds so natural coming from him. And I don't want to say that, like, I swear to, I don't want to say that, I don't want to say that, oh, it's okay that I swear because I'm older, because I feel like wrong is wrong. Like, swearing is bad. It doesn't matter how old you are. Swearing it, swearing isn't, like, the most pleasant thing to, for somebody, he, somebody to hear, you know, whatever. You have different opinions, but I think so. Even though I do swear, it just sometimes, I feel like sometimes it just needs to be said, but... I wouldn't be, I'm not the proudest when I do swear. But anyways, when that when I heard, saw the kids swearing so much, I was so shocked and I started to wonder, is it because of the TV shows that he's watching or these like movies or it, like does his parents swear fun of him or does is it like his friends? Like where is he getting this influence from? I kept thinking more about it. Like what about my kid? Like do I really, do I want to... Uh, be really really careful around my kid but like are certain words okay to swear in front of my kid or do I want my kids to not swear in front of me like obviously like I don't want them to swear in front of me but I don't know I just feel like knowing such a language when you're so young is kind of like crazy and kind of crazy how today's you know second graders are so different from my second like when I was a second grade And isn't like the average of kids losing their losing their virginity so much younger now? 
I think that's so crazy. I don't even want to say it's bad or good, but I don't, I don't, because I don't want to necessarily say anything about it. Mm. To be honest, I think it's kind of bad that they're losing their virginity, virginity so young. Get some carby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Am I being too old school? I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. Just. Even like, you know, movies, there's an age restriction, but I don't feel, I feel, to be honest, I feel like nobody really cares about that anymore. Like when I was on super underage, like, under like 16 or something when i saw like i think i saw one movie that was like rated r i don't even remember but i felt like i was seriously committing a crime when i was watching that kind of movie so i don't know what's going on but it's kind of crazy how fast or you know they're just so exposed to so many things that I wasn't when I was that young but if I have a kid, I'm not gonna like keep them home and make sure they don't do anything or anything like that. Because I feel like from what I see, so many of my friends that bloomed later, like they couldn't drink when they were in high school. I feel like you can't drink, but I'm just saying, you know, like their parents were so strict that they couldn't even go out during the weekday with their friends. It's not just going to like, I don't know, just a hangout. They were just so strict. Their parents didn't let them go anywhere, basically. And once they hit college, and they have so much freedom. So these kids, they want to go far, far away from home because they want all the freedom that they can get. And they kind of just go crazy, you know? Like, they drink, they party more, more. They party harder than the rest of the kids because it's, you know, they're not used to it. But people, like... For example, my boyfriend... He's been like smoking, drinking. Yeah, I'm not like the proudest. Well, he's not the proudest either. But he was exposed exposed to like drugs, um, smoking, drinking when he was really, really young. It's because like, you know, he never really lived with his parents. But because he started so young, he, oops, because he started so young, he got kind of sick of it really fast. So... Around like college time when everybody was like getting drunk, they didn't know how to handle alcohol. He was like, he knew, he knew like uh, how much he needs to be drinking, like blah blah blah. He just he was more familiar with it. So yeah, I'm I'm think I'm just saying that late bloomers are scarier. So I don't want my kid to be like that. Like I don't want my kid to be 
like, oh, I don't want to be with my mom. That's why I'm going to go far away for college. I mean, like, if they have to go far because of the school they want to go into, that's fine. But I don't want them to feel like I don't want to be near my parents kind of thing. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my blog that I recently uploaded. Also, um, yeah, check out the description box to find that specific link to get you extra 15% off on Amazon for the Kasori pressure cooker. Uh, it does end in, it does end on November 18th. Yeah, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.